All right, Shalom, Akim, first and foremost, before we get into this lesson, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakudash, and double honors to the apostles and others of great millstone that rule well and teach well. And sincere salutations to all the Akim out there pushing this truth in sincerity. All right, Shalom. All right, so one of the brothers uh, from a GMS camp, uh, GMS Super Saiyan 7, all right, posted this video. All right, alert, food shortage is coming. All right, and this is all of the most high, man. All right. So let me grab these uh, two precepts real quick. Second Edris, chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. All right, so we've seen these prophecies coming to pass, man. All right, earthquakes, man. Um, this pest, this uh, pestilence, man. The coronavirus. All right, wars and rumors of wars. All right, with Iran in U.S., China in U.S. All right, the mark of the beast, man. China got their own digital starting the test run on a digital currency, man. All right, you got times we coming into these vaccines, man, where that's going to lead to the uh, eventually to the RFID chip, which which is the mark of the beast, man. All right. So all these things are going on in the earth, man. All right. And not too long ago, man, the most hot had put, a, a, you know, what they call a pink, a super pink moon, man. All right. In the heavens, man. So, hey, if we come into the last hey, we in the end, brothers. We are in the end of this thing, man. All right. Let me grab another precept before we get into this video. All right. So this is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. And we're going to read on down to 3. All right. And the Lord, Yahweh, answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. All right. So this is the most hot. All right. Talking to Habakkuk, man. All right. Telling him, man, to write the vision of which he have seen and make it plain upon tables, man. All right. Which is in these scriptures, man. All right. So when the he that read it and that he all right, is the prophets today, man. Yahweh Zah. We be those prophets, man, that hopefully lay. All right. And, you know, when we read, you know, I'm really talking about running, man, but to grow within this knowledge, man, to understand these scriptures, man. All right. And to prophesy and to see what's going on in the world and filter it through the scriptures, man, to let people know what well, to mostly, this is mostly for Israel, but, you know, we got to prophesy, um, prophesy, all right, the downfall of Esau's Edom kingdoms, man, telling these other heathen nations that they're going into slavery. All right, according to the scriptures, man. All right, and that, and then uh, verse three, man, is pretty. It's a, it's plain in itself, man. These visions are yet for a point in time, man. All right, but in the end, these these are going to speak, man, and they shall not lie, man. So the like it says in Second Ezra is fifteen. All right, and two, all right, and cause them to be written in the paper, for they are faithful and true, man. All right, so the words of the Most High are faithful and true, man. All right, like in Malachi uh, 3 and 6, uh, I am the Lord, Yahweh, I change not, man. So if he don't change, hey, these prophecies don't change, man. All right. So we know, all right, that these visions are true, man. We have that faith, man. All right, and... They're speaking right now, man. Are right, we seeing these prophecies speaking right now, man? And the words of the Most High are not lying. All right. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it shall surely come and it will not tarry, man. All right. So these prophecies, man, they're not going to stop, man. It's going to come, man. The end is manifesting, man. We're seeing all these prophecies, all right, come before. We're seeing these prophecies happen right in front of our faces, man. All right, we're living in a prophecy within itself, brothers. And we're 
as these prophecies happening, man, we're prophesying to these pe to uh, you know, the elect, man, and these other he and these heathen nations, man, and two thirds of Israel. All right, we're we're prophesying as these prophecies are taking place. All right, you see, and they're not slacking, man. All right, these prophecies are coming to pass. All right, the famine. All right, and I I don't know like the spirit been heavy on me to talk about this famine, man. Cause I know in tight uh a couple of Tyson's food plants they they pork plants hey that's cut down, man. But if you read in Revelation, uh, I mean it's Salakia, not Revelation, um, Levitic Leviticus eleven, man, it talks about we're not supposed to eat swine anyway, man, which is pork. All right, so call all your how about stream your how shout for that, man, cause we're not even supposed to be eating those things. All right, even though it part of the hoof, but you was not the could, it is unclean, man. All right, roughly paraphrase through the scriptures. All right, but let's get uh, you know. Play the video, then I'm gonna get a few more precepts. Uh, this is not gonna be a long video. Uh, this is just you know to you know bring out the prophecy, man. To you know let let you know it's coming. Uh, went over and talked to a a guy that I've known for many years. Uh, he's in the agricultural market. He uh, does a lot of marketing for different things. And we had about a 45 minute conversation about things that's, that's already happened. And we're, we had a long conversation about things that's coming real soon. Like maybe probably be in the headlines in the next two or three days. But <clears throat> right now, they are fixing to start euthanizing two to 300 pound hogs. These are slaughter weight hogs that is waiting, that's being backed up in the system because our supply chain has. All right, and again, man, I like to give, man, all honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakaku Dash, man. All right, he's showing you he's not with this place, man. All right, it's in the laws that we are not to eat pork, and he's showing you that, man. All right, but half of these Christians, man, they're justified by reading the vision of Peter, man. But even though in verse 28, man, when you read that, all right, it talks about, man, man, the beast and the uh, beast mindset, man. But through the spirit, they are cleansed. So, man, we're not to eat pork, man. All right? Even in the scriptures, man, it says the laws are not done away with, man. All right? Matter of fact, let me grab that real quick. It's a lot cute. I just want to bring that out. Second, I can. All right, Con. Matthew 5, verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. All right. Matter of fact, let me get that in red letter. All right. So, this is the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I come not to destroy, but to fulfill. All right. So, Yahweh Shai didn't come to destroy the law nor the prophets, man. So, if that means he didn't destroy the law, that means till this day, that law is still in, in effect, man. All right. That's why we have to keep the laws and statutes to the best of our ability. All right. And one of the laws that we can keep most definitely is not to eat pork. All right. Even though these devils put pork in everything, man. From two brush, brush, uh, her brushes, all of it, man. All right, but that's where wisdom, that's where uh, wisdom come in, man. All right, wisdom and knowledge shall be the uh, stability of our times. All right, least to get an advantage over us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. So when it comes into the truth, man, we research into certain things. All right, and 
we start to become wise in how we move, man. We come to realize that, oh, man, it's a lot of pork and everything now. All right. But I just wanted to bring that out. Uh, let's get back to the video real quick. It's missing links in them now. This is what happens when you take a link out of the chain and you don't put it back. It falls apart. And then it starts chopping up all the other people out there who's trying to supply the market, supply the country with what we need. They are fixing to euthanize our American-grown, American-fed slaughter hogs that's supposed to be on our shelves for us to eat. Now, I'm talking about America right now. I'm not talking about any other country. I'm talking about our food, what we produce, what the farmers that keeps this country going produces. Okay, so that's one big news that everybody needs to understand is coming. You're fixing to not be able to get any kind of hog meat on the shelf. Let's move along. This already broke loose. Tyson Foods is shutting down plants all across America. We all know that that's coming. I already came out three to four, five to six videos back and said that would end up happening. What there is, is there's no slaughterhouses. So now all of these people who are claiming they're getting sick are now not going to work. Well, when people don't go to work, food ain't getting processed. When food ain't getting processed, it doesn't hit your store shelf. So that right there in itself is breaking a link out of the chains. And what I realized, well, recently is that uh, that really hasn't hit a lot of people. Like, a lot of people still believe, like, oh, yeah, they see food on the shelves, man. They see, all right, they, they still in that mindset of, you know, we, we, get, we hope this place gets back up. But they don't realize that it's not, man. This place is, all right, it's destined to be destroyed, man. All right, this place is temporal. So, a lot of people's mindset is still stuck in, oh, this place is going to be revived. America is going to be going on forever. No, man. Babylon the Great, which is uh, spiritually Egypt, man. All right. And America, which is actually today known as America, is really Babylon the Great. It's destined to be destroyed, man, pursuant to the scriptures, man. All right. And that's what a lot of people don't get is that. These food shortages are coming, man. They're here, really. It's just, it take, they're still in that process. Because you still got some food that's still coming in from before they had stopped the farm. So once that is being taken care of, man, hey, that true famine is going to hit, man. It's already famines going on in Nigeria. And also, all right, them locusts, uh, still, I think they're still going on. All right. And that's really messing up the crops over in East Africa. So, hey, a lot. This ain't hit a lot of people's minds yet, man. See now, Yahweh Bashmi, how was shot through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi, how was shot. All right, he gave he hey he put us ahead, man, because we are able to prepare ourselves, man, by fasting. All right, by eating less. You know, I work. I try to work on eating once a day, but try to go a day without eating at the most. So really, it's he put us ahead so that we can mentally prepare for these things. All right, back to the video. Let's move right along. The chicken industry. They are slaughtering and euthanizing chickens the same as they're going to start doing the hogs. They are getting rid of them. American grain-fed chickens are not going to be on our store shelves. I'm trying to let you folks know the information. You can do with it what you will. The beef market is going to end up being the same way. They're basically doing everything they can to destroy and disrupt this country. That is what's going on, folks. That is what's going on on the ground floor. I don't care what the news says. I don't care what the headlines say. I'm giving you information from reliable sources that's actually on the ground floor and actually goes to the farms and I actually talk to the people that it affects. This is what's going to happen, folks. All down the line, the same thing that they're going to euthanize the hog market, they're going to euthanize the chicken market and the beef market as well. I will also tell you this. I took an 800-pound bull. He was almost 800 pounds to sell. If he wouldn't have went to a local farm to breed his stock. 
I would have only gotten between 50 and 60 cents a pound. 50 and 60 cents a pound for an 800 pound bull. Black Angus, might I add. When right now people's paying upwards of $5 a pound just for ground beef. That ain't talking about New York strips. That ain't talking about T-bone steaks or filet mignon or whatever else you want to cut out of the cow. That's ground beef, folks. I can only do so much. I can only speak so much of what's happening. There's fixing the, the plain fact is there's fixing to be a. Uh, one more thing, uh, due to them trying to, you know, uh, destroy the economy, all right, and crash that dollar, a lot of the, uh, uh, hyperinflation is going to be the outcome of those things, man. So, food prices are going to go up. Uh, a lot of uh, miscellaneous, miscellaneous things are going, prices are going to go up. So, they're like, because the, the value of the dollar is going to decrease, man. So therefore, it's gonna rise up the prices, all right, of like food, toilet paper, all that, man. Hey, and it's gonna it's gonna take a toll on on these people, man, who weren't prepared. Simple interruption. It's simple. There's not gonna be any food on the shelves. <laughs> and I wish people would understand what I'm telling you. I wish folks on here, the majority of you do. The majority of you understands that this thing is falling apart. But a lot of people are still plugged in to Mr. Government's going to take care of them. What's happening right now is a complete disaster. All right, and that just brought me a precept. I'm sorry. Uh, let me get that real quick. All right. That just brought a precept to mind. Well, he said a lot of people depending on this growth, uh, this um this government man all right lo thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on egypt where if a man lean it will go into his hand and pierce it so is pharaoh king of egypt all right and who's the modern day pharaoh today all right trump all right or if you want to uh, go further the uh wicked elite all right because they're ruling basically the whole world man pursuing a job 9 to 24 the earth is given over into the hand of the wicked. All right, and e and Egypt now is Amer is uh you know spiritually America is Egypt man the house of bondage man, and to this day we are still slaves in that bondage man, and a lot of our people trust in e in Egypt system man, and trusting in that system man, is going to pierce you man in the long run. Literally, because you're <laughs> those who trust in this system, man, are going to take that chip. All right, that RFID chip pursuing the revelation 13 and 16 through 17. All right, so trusting in this system, man, is going to pierce you in the long run, man. All right, because you're because you're trusting in the system now, but when that lack of food come. You're going to be like, wait, whoa, what happened? I, I trusted in the system, but they let me down. And you're going to be confused, man. That's going to leave a lot of these two-thirds of Israel who didn't believe in the most tight Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in derision, man. All right? They're going to be lost because they didn't hearken unto the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right? And he's speaking, by the way, of his prophets, man. And we're coming to that time of the famine of the word. All right, so let's get back to the video. Disaster. And a lot of people ain't going to make it. A lot of people's going to go hungry when this house of cards comes crashing down. Remember, the hog market, the beef market, the chicken market, and very soon, the produce section of your local grocery stores will not have hardly anything in it and let me tell you what they will have the prices on the products that will be on their shelves will be outrageous Hi. hey see and that's going back to how when they're crashing a the dollar that dollar is going to be less valuable so they're going to raise the prices of everything man everything so now we're coming into that time man like a lot of the hey 
If you can't get food while you can, all right, don't just go in there and just start going crazy, man. Don't, hey, because you tr you're still trusting in the uh, system, man. But if you do shop, do your regular shopping and grab a little extra things, man. But knowing, but still having in their mind, in your mindset that this is not really going to help me in the end. It's the, you know, it's that fear of your how about show me how it shot and follow his commandments. All right. For inflation. So inflated, hardly anybody can afford it. And let me tell you what else you're going to see. Since they're crapping on the small farmers, they're shutting them down completely. And since they're crapping on the American farmers that keeps this country fed, I'm going to tell you what you are going to see on your shelves. You're about to see a whole lot of foreign meats and a whole lot of foreign foods sitting right on your shelves to buy because that's all they're going to let you buy. Welcome to the new America. All right, so let's get into these precepts. All right, but first, it's this one because I know... We know that spiritually, all right, so in Revelation 11, 8, all right, it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of a great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where our, also our Lord was crucified. So we going back, we know that during our first time in the captivity in Egypt, Yahweh Shah wasn't there then, all right? He wasn't physically walking the earth, all right? But it was in the New Testament, all right, pursuing the Matthews when he was born, man. All right, and he was crucified in Egypt like he was, like, you know, during the uh, time of um, when they changed the image of our Lord, man, to that false image of Yahweh Shah, man. All right, who the world we call Jesus Christ, man. They turned, they put a white man over it, man. All right. Oh, what was his name? Uh, Caesar Borgir. All right. And that's who most of these Christian people worship, man. Those into Christianity, man. That's who they worship, man, is, is Caesar Borgir, man, the devil. Because <laughs> he is an Edomite, man. And these Edomites are the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. All right. The left-handed angel, if you will, on the left-handed side. The left-handed side, the most high, is the wicked side, man. All right, so let's get back. Uh, let's get into these precepts, man. All right. So let's start at verse 5. All right. Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh. So these are the word of the Lord, man. All right. I will bring plagues upon the world. All right, sword, famine, death, and destruction. So the Lord said he will bring these upon the world, man. So all according to the scriptures, man, all these are plays in itself. All right, jumping on down. All right, to 10. All right, behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. So we're seeing, all right, so I just read in Second uh, um, Salakia, Revelation 11 and 8, man, how this is spiritually Egypt, man. Sodom and Egypt, all right? So, like Yahweh Barashim Yahweh said, man, he will not suffer his people to dwell in the land of Egypt, man. So right before the missiles hit, man, he's going to deliver up his elect, man. And again, even though some are going to die, for this truth, man, all right, pursuing the Revelation 20 and 4, all right, they're going to get beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah. All right, verse 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with the plagues as before. So he's going to smite, uh, you know, America, which spiritually is Egypt, and is known as Babylon the Great, pursuing the scriptures. All right, he's going to smite them with the plague before, man. And Egypt was uh, smite with the plague of famine. All right? And will destroy all the land. All right, verse 12. 
Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. All right. And, we, and again, that plague, man, goes is part of that plague is famine. And we're seeing that pestilence, the coronavirus, COVID-19, ultimately ordained by the Most High to happen. All right. And the plague. All right. Which is this famine, which, you know, really the most high Yahweh is using Esau to bring this uh, famine, man, by stopping the uh, production of like he like he just like the uh, like this Edomite could be a Jake uh, said. All right. The production of the chick chicken, uh, chicken, beef, uh, pork, which we should not eat. You cannot eat pork. All right. It is a law. All right. All these things are being cut off, man. All right. It's just gradualism, man. All right. They're hurting the sheep, man. The sheep. All right. And this is why I say it is a blessed. It is a blessing to be in this truth, Aki. All right. Because we're in heading these things, man. We learning to fast. To go days without food. All right. To depend on how Bashim Yahweh Shah rather than that broken reed, which is this system of Egypt, man, which is America. So count that as a blessing, man. Alright, getting to uh that precept of how he uh Yahweh is using these Edomites. Alright. Romans 13 and 4. For he is the minister of Yahweh for thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of Yahweh, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Alright, and we're seeing and we know uh pursuant to Genesis that Esau blessing was the sword, man. That's what he was made for, man, to act out, alright. To act out, alright, for though to act out, you know, to the revenger to execute wrath upon them that doeth evil, man. Even <laughs> the sword, man. So a lot of these Edomites during Jacob's trouble, man, it's gonna be a lot of Edomites dying too, not just Jacob, man. Alright. But hey, like he said, man, be be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain, man. And uh pursuant to Revelation twelve twelve, man, what it says. Alright. The devil hath come down on you for uh unto great wrath. Because he knows that he hath but a short time. Roughly paraphrasing. Alright. You can read that in Revelation 12. Matter of fact. I will get that after that. Alright. But as you can see man. Alright. And Yahweh using uh you know. Esau. Alright. To cause this famine man. Alright. Because Esau is that sword. That Yahweh is using. Alright. And on the right hand side, he using his prophets, man, to prophesy against all right, the nation of Esau and these other nations, man, telling them they're going to again going to slavery, pursuant to the scriptures. All right, and that their kingdom is coming down. All right, and we can see all this happening, man. All right, so let me grab that Revelation uh twelve and twelve real quick. All right. So this is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And that devil is talking about Esau, Edom, man. And he's going to come down unto the world, unto the earth, man. All right, Yahweh is going to allow him, all right, to kill off two thirds, man, of Israel, man. All right, and some Edomites are going to die because of their wickedness too. But they are already wicked, man. All right, you know he coming down having that great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time, man. All right, because the wicked ruleth but for a moment, man. All right, we can see Yahweh, you know, taking down his kingdom, man, and setting up the kingdom of Yahweh Shah, man. So the earth can be ruled in righteousness, man. All right, but it's another uh, precept that I wanted to get, and we're going to end it off on this one. 
All right, so this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 39. Uh, yeah, con, chapter 39, verse 28. And we're going to read on down to verse 30. All right. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. All right, so who is he that made them, man? It is, him is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, he's the father of all spirits, man. All right, verse 29 fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. All right. So we see. All right. That famine, man. It, it, it was created for vengeance, man. All right. And if you read the scriptures, man. Hey, a lot of times the most high was seeing that famine, man. All right. And Yahweh is using all right, that part that famine as part of his vengeance, man. And that's the only part of it, man. Alright. The teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Alright, the beautiful part all right, about that is that you know we know that the sword, you know that Esau's blessing was a sword, man. Alright, they're going they were created to uh minister unto Yahweh. Like that was created to care, to enact out, all right, the left-handed side of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh was shot, all right, to punish the wicked, all right, those who won't follow the law, statutes, and the commandments to ultimately be killed by to uh for the wicked Esau Edom to be killed by the by uh the nuclear fire, man. <laughs> so pretty much, man, they were created to be destroyed, man, and that's some hey, that's beautiful, man, honestly. All right, but on that, uh, Yahweh you brothers and few sisters that were listening were edified. And again, I like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakudash, and double honors to the apostles and netters of great millstone that rule well and teach well. And sincere salutations to all the Aki out there, uh, pushing his truth and sincerity. All right, till the next time, Shalom.